Hi there, so far we managed to rank which episodes are worse and which are best, let's see what the fans has decided. In Grounded Series, Worst to Best. Welcome to Grounded Series, Worst to Best. I am Boris and this is Caillou. Dad, they know who we are. We are excited to find out which episode by far ranks best. After six seasons, and 157 episodes, and hundreds of thousands of views, I feel like it's time to see which episode tops it all. The viewers has been voting for the last couple of months, but now we got the results. Caillou, you said this would be a short video? I can't go through all 157 unfortunate events of your sad life. It's not all just about me, it's about all of us. Can we start? Yes, here's how the voting works. People had voted their favorite 10 episodes, but if the episodes have same number of votes, it goes down to the likes and dislikes of that video, but if that is the same it will be determined by views. Okay then, let's get started. We are starting the list with the worst episode voted by the viewers. Interesting stuff. At number 157 is... Donnie Pushes Cindy, Season 5 Episode 8. You know that Writers Association letter? Yeah. I'm moving to Vancouver. When are you coming back? Well... I'm not. Honestly, I can say I don't blame them. I agree. This is by far the worst episode of the series. I don't even know what the creator was thinking when he made this. Push me again. Go on, I dare you. All this episode is focusing on is Donnie attacking Cindy just so he can keep Miguel gay. I mean what is that all about? I prefer to see Dora's storyline. Big mistake you jungle orphan, you're grounded for life. Most pointless filler episode, that's what it is. Did the creator just give up when he made this? I can imagine so, please let's move on from this. Okay then. Dad, would you say number 156? At number 156 is... Annie Calls Vino a Potato, Season 5 Episode 10. Not a good start for Season 5. I know, what a shame. You are the director of marketing for the school, for a week. Yay 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 I mean, I'm a little surprised this is second to last. I thought it would be better. I hated it, I don't know where the creator got this episode concept from. I know, is there even such a thing as a market director in the school? Potatoes. Ha uh -uh. Potatoes. Not just potatoes, they are Plotagon High's baked potatoes. You want me to be the face of potatoes? The only joke I liked in this episode is the line where Mrs. Hall says that is guardian bullying. I admit, that bit made me smile. She chose potatoes, probably because she thinks I'm fat and I'm chunky for my fries. That is guardian bullying. Yeah, maybe this episode wasn't as clever as I remembered. I have no choice but to ground you for triple infinity, go to sleep and die. At number 155 is... Annie and Warbucks moves in with Vina, Season 3 Episode 20. Pack your things, Annie. We are ready to say goodbye to this old mansion. This episode was a weak one. I agree, although it shows Annie's character very much, she loves the fancy life, and she doesn't want to be living in normal conditions, I can relate. Where's Annie? I swear to God if she is still back at the old house I'm going to ground her. I think personally this episode does belong at the bottom with the other two episodes mentioned. Yeah I agree nothing special with this episode. Please turn the car around. It's just Annie being a whiny brat. Warbucks has guts. He leaves his fancy mansion behind so he can live with his true love. You are grounded for all time. Get upstairs right this instant you ginger donkey. At number 154 is... Dora Makes Grieving Worse, Season 4 Episode 23. Wait. 
What did you say? She died last night. In a car crash. Oh my god, Cam was so young. I know. I can start by saying this is the first episode of the Major Voice Update. I'm happy Tracy don't sound American anymore. It fits her character. Exactly. But other than that, this episode isn't good from a storytelling point of view. What are you doing burying her alive? Oh my freaking god. What the hell are you doing? This episode is supposed to be a serious one because of what happened to Cam. It's kind of all over the place. Not a good episode example of showing bipolar disorder. How did Dora get into the hospital ward anyway? Beats me. You know what? You're grounded for 1066 years. The ending was the best scene of the episode, where that thunder sound shows Dora gone, when Vina checked to see her in her room. Dora, it's me. Listen, I set you up an appointment to see the doctor and I... At number 153 is... Candace misbehaves at Mrs. Hall's return, season 3 episode 21. Congratulations. You are cancer free. Such good news. I am crying with tears of joy. I can't make this episode out. This is honestly the most laziest episode of the series, by far. I agree. I just got so bored watching this. Boo. Boo. You suck. Yeah. Boo. Boo at her. I'm happy to see Mrs. Hall out of hospital, but when it comes to Candace booing at her, I lost interest in the episode already. You were grounded for 90 lifetimes. You will not have any dinner. What else is there left to say about this? Tell me about it. I honestly would put this last place if I did my own rankings. The fans chose right to leave this episode down below. At number 152 is... Eliza refuses to put up missing posters, season 5 episode 23. Man, what a time to have your adopted brother missing. Screw this. I'm just going to the movie with friends. In my opinion, this episode deserves to be a little higher in the rankings. Sure it's a weak episode, but it don't deserve to be near the bottom. Yeah this episode is alright, Miguel's story of his guilt is so underrated. I think what you said last night was really brave. I'm sorry I should have not come here. Miguel. I can see why this episode has fewer votes, but I think this episode could have been something more. Definitely. I mean, especially knowing that Donnie is dead, it's Miguel's story that's made this episode. Yeah. I don't know if the fans are the same about Miguel or not. You just got yourself grounded for 90 Aprils, Mays and Junes. Meanwhile Dora was in this episode, I was not bothered about her coming back. You never bothered about Dora, Dad? That is true. At number 151 is... Miss Hannigan Goes on a Date, Season 5 Episode 12. I heard my mom about 5 minutes ago saying Miss Hannigan is finding a date on Tinder. Ha ha ha, I really don't see her finding love. I mean come on. I'm really shocked this episode did not get more votes. Yeah I agree, there are some really iconic funny moments from this episode. Dear Colleen. Dear sexy Colleen. You look stunning, should we go on a dinner date? I want to date and have sex with you. Yeah the scene where they make up a Tinder profile to fool Miss Hannigan. I feel as though Miss Hannigan is so underrated and never mentioned a lot in this series. I feel like there's more episodes to come about her, I'm hoping. I was Kevin all along, now pucker up and kiss me Hannigan. I never expected Eliza and Jimmy to do this to Miss Hannigan, I would assume Annie would do. Me too considering Miss Hannigan and Danny are from the same movie. That is so it, you're grounded. Grounded for all time. Overall, this episode is funny, a shame that it's bottom of the list though. Yeah, never mind. At number 150 is... Tracy stalks Jenny's date, season 3 episode 17. That's $14.58, and a date. This is just like Miss Hannigan's date, but instead of ruining it, it's stalking. Yes Caillou, every single freaking episode tells you what happens. I'm going to start by spying on Jenny and her new date, Wicked. Call me how it goes. This episode is okay, but it's not a good episode. Yeah I don't know what else this episode could do to be better. But I say this could be higher up, just a little. Oh my freaking god. I knew I heard children laughter from the school. God, don't it make you wish to turn the chairs around? Ha 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 ha, I was just about to say that. Again, 
This episode could do better. You are so grounded, grounded, grounded for 44 tranquilities. At number 149 is... Cindy Makes Fun of School Play, Season 4, Episode 24. Miguel, would you like to play Joseph? What the? Oh, sure. Don't this episode make you want to cringe? Yeah. What in the actual hell even is this episode? I have not got a clue. You are pregnant too, Elizabeth. Yes, child, at advanced age too. So when did you and Miguel shag? Cut. I do not like this episode one bit. I don't even know what the creator was trying to do for this episode. I know. How has this got higher? Let's not question it. It is what it is. I hear you're going to Satanism now. What? Satanism? What has this creator done? That's it. You're grounded for 4,738,483 Google Eplex decades. At number 148 is... Donnie Comes Out, Season 5, Episode 17. Why did BC send you that and not me? Probably don't know where you live so they gave it to me. Miguel, I can't carry on like this. I'm not too bothered with this episode. Yeah, it's an okay episode. It just tends to be unpopular with the fans, and I agree. Mom, I'm gay. I know. You know, it's just a continuation of Miguel and Donnie's storyline. Just a simple coming out to a parent video. That's what I mean, just by the title. You're grounded for 59 centuries for falling in love with him. Oh, come on. I love the scene where Carly and Punjab opens the diner in Cam's memory. Yeah, that was a sweet moment. Welcome everybody to the opening of our new diner. Darling? Cam's diner is officially open. At number 147 is... Rosie works at Supermarket, Season 5, Episode 16. I could let you work for me for the day. I think that would cover your strawberry lace just fine. I'll do it. I'm a little surprised that this episode has lesser votes. I really thought this did better. I found this episode to be okay. It's not that bad. There's a few chuckles. It's nice to see an episode surrounding the star for once. Yeah, I agree. The star is hardly used in the Grounded series. This movie is scary. Nah, she's faking it. Still faking it. I love the cozy feeling of Miguel and Stacy watching a movie together. I felt uncomfortable. I have a feeling you didn't take that purse on purpose. You were just desperate. That's so freaking it. You're grounded, 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 grounded for life. Every time Rosie gets grounded, I choke. Every time I see you grounded, Caillou, I choke. Touché. Well, my thoughts are positive with this episode. I agree. Love to see more supermarket grounded episodes. At number 146 is... Doris and Emma's Day Out, Part 1, Season 4, Episode 19. It's good to see you're looking well. Shall we roll on with the day? To the restaurant. This is the worst of the two-parter episodes. Undoubtedly, it is. Is it because of Harvey? Mostly because of Harvey, yes. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna wet myself. I probably think the creator regretted making this two-parter episode. I know I would. It's just dragged out too long. That's one of the problems with this episode. Too long. Probably too dull of an episode. That's it, Candace. You were grounded for millions of years. But good concept of a women's day out. Two strong independent women. One of them is not independent, Caillou. You slept with both of them. Are you trying to piss me off? Right. Moving on. At number 145 is... Little Bill Makes a Mess, Season 5, Episode 13. It's that time of the month, cleaning your room day. I don't care about this episode very much, it's just like a simple grounding video. I agree with you on that, nothing really going on, apart from the fact little Bill refuses to clean his room. I'll just make it more untidy than it was. By throwing stuff on the floor. And then throw stink bombs at not just my room, but inside the entire house. Yeah I would not change the ranking in this episode. I would put it a little higher, not in the top 100 though. I think the fans did justice for putting this episode lower, it's just too simple. Yeah, even though the episode is okay. That is so oh, 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 freaking it man, you are grounded until Dispacito 3. 
but it's likely that will never exist. 4. No. At number 144 is. Well. We made it. 100 episodes. Caillou and Boris stand alone. Season 4, episode 25. That is so it. You were grounded, grounded, grounded for 48 million Gregleplex years. This is so stupid. We tried to make this 100th episode as special as we can, but unfortunately, we failed. Yeah, we were not expecting this episode to be so unpopular. I think the more I watch this episode, I can see why it wasn't good. See, this is why I need more sons that don't end up like you. Don't end up like what? Being straight? You cheeky ass. At least it wasn't last place. Yeah, this episode don't deserve last place. When I watch this episode, it's just full of random nonsense. So strange. Chibako. Chibako. I don't remember why I speak offensively. My voice is so different. I'm scared. Let's move on from here. At number 143 is... Snow Day Ditch, Season 5 Episode 14. All schools are closed for this matter. No school. Except for one school in Plotagon City. Plotagon High will remain open. No 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 no. This is another episode which is so underrated. Yeah, deserves a lot better. I thought this episode was pretty good. It must be so frustrating for someone who has to go into school on a snow day when other schools are shut. Dad, I was there. That's it. I have had it. I'm going to get out of school and have fun. Ha 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 ha, let me catch. Get Tracy. No way. Ah. Oh. <laughs> this episode is very heartwarming. It reminds me of my childhood snow days. Yeah, this episode doesn't deserve to be near the bottom of the list. Very sweet. Hail to the Ice Age joke. Ha 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 ha. That's so it. You are grounded, 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 grounded until the Ice Age ends. Wait, are we talking about the end of the movie's franchise or the end of the actual weather events? The movie series end. At number 142 is... Dora Gets Sectioned. Season 5, Episode 9. The doctor will come soon. The doctor. He's coming today. Yes, so please stay calm. Probably the worst idea to have a story of someone unrelated to Dora leaving the city during the episode. Yeah, I just feel that this episode should just focus only on Dora. Well it is, but nobody gives a damn about Cindy. Get away from me or I'll... I'll cut you with this water glass. Dora's crazy. She tried to murder me like she did to Ferb. Look. She cut my hand. This episode has a good bipolar awareness message, not the greatest, but it did good. Yeah, I feel however this storyline got cut short. You are grounded for 93 years, it's less time this time because we're going home where the police and doctors are waiting for us. Dora, we're here to take you to hospital. No. I'm fine. Mom tell them, tell them I'm fine. You're not Aura, you're not. Dora getting taken away is pretty sad too. I suppose it is rather sad. As an episode, it deserves to be top 100. Yeah just about on the 100 mark. At number 141 is... Annie hires strippers, season 3 episode 6. I will hire strippers. Just for prank purposes. Ha 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 ha. I don't know about this episode, what do you think? This looks classic, classic grounded series. Maybe, but this episode not for me. You're pathetic, you hate it because it has strippers. No! What are you doing? Oh my freaking god, stripper, put your clothes on. This episode would be top of my list. Oh shut up. I'm serious, it's a great episode. I think it's better where it belongs. Oliver. Dina. Samantha. You're grounded forever after. At number 140 is... Justine Disrespect Victoria Cafe Customers. Season 2 Episode 21. Justine. 
You work at the Victoria Cafe? Yeah, away from Beaker. The fans must be wondering, Justine who? I miss Justine, she was never that popular with the fans. Yeah, it's sad, but this episode is funny. Can I get a hot mocha please? Okay, but you're going to have to wait until my ass kicks in. GRRRR. The humor was funny back then, but now it's a giggle. I'm still laughing off my chair. You were grounded for 593,999,000,000 years. I like how Emma Summer Hayes just fits in the episode. This was during Who Killed Ferb storyline, which dominated season 2. At number 139 is Rosie Drinks Vodka. Season 3 Episode 13 We need some vodka at the party. Rosie, you're 13, not 21, or 18 in some countries. I agree, this episode could've done better, but it's okay. Just okay. Yeah, it's not bad, it's not great, just okay. Caillou, why are you not in your room like I asked you? Just to tell you that Rosie and her friends are drinking vodka downstairs. What? That stupid ginger girl. Where did the vodka even come from? Good question, I actually don't know. It's just that, how did it get into teenagers' hands? I should probably ask Rosie. That's it. Party is cancelled. You're grounded for five tranquilities. Oh look Mrs. Hall at the end. She appeared twice for seconds. At number 138 is... Little Bill Tortures Door for the First Time, Season 4 Episode 1. What are you saying? You will be on probation until further notice. Probation. So this is after Warbuck's wedding, and Dora is put on probation. Yeah, a month after. I suppose this was the weakest season premiere episode. I don't think so. I think this is an okay concept of an episode, but it's not as popular with the fans. It is deleted. Her nightmare begins here. Ha 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 ha. Strange. Where is it? It should be on documents. Oh my god. Where is it? This is not a joke. This is Little Bill's fully first episode in the series, and we all knew what was coming of him. Yes, his character is very sinister. Oh my freaking god. Dora the Stupid Explorer. I can't believe you failed to do your book report. You were failing school because of this and also, what you did in the past. That's it. You were grounded for 30 million months. This episode is mildly okay. Very much so. At number 137 is Beaker's Backstory, Season 4, Episode 21. Mom, I think you need to sit down and tell us about Dad. This episode is good and could be a little higher. Yeah, it gives good explanation to the story of how Annie and Tracy were separated and how they were as a family before. Are you the doctor? Yes, I'm. The story gives more like a Robin Hood vibe. Yeah, instead Jerry helps the sick get better. But however there are complications. Mr. Jerry Beaker, you have been charged with 537 counts of unlicensed nursing. When are you going to forgive me again? Well Jerry I don't know, maybe when you get a million and a half freaking dollars. Look, fire. Oh my freaking god. It is rather sad to see the fire scene of where Annie goes back inside to try and retrieve her locket. It was rather intense, but seeing the father die in the fire is very sad. What makes it worse is, the scene where they split them up, but soon they managed to find them again. Yeah, it gave very good answers. So yeah this episode for me is good, not my favorite, but a very significant episode. Very significant. Those who haven't watched should watch this, to know the story. That's it. Just for that, you're grounded for 729,000 years. At number 136 is... Cindy goes to the prom with Jimmy, Season 4, Episode 3. Can't believe I'm doing this. Jimmy, will you go to the prom with me? Since no one will date a geek like me because I got called Sugar Honey Ice Tea Head once. Of course I'll go to the prom with you, Cindy. Honestly, I wish there would be a better prom episode than this. It's fine. It seems to be with the fans the most popular episode featuring Cindy Vortex. Dance. I mean dance. Whatever Rita. It's Stacy, actually. There's a start to the Miguel storyline in this episode. 
it feels awkward this scene, I don't know why but I feel it. The whole episode is very awkward, how Jimmy and Cindy kiss. And then suddenly Jimmy's mom just shows up out of nowhere. I know, where did she even come from? That is it, you are grounded for 16.5 million years. You're grounded until you die, stay in your room until you die of starvation. This episode should be better than this in my opinion. At number 135 is... Candace Steals Cam's Earrings, Season 6 Episode 15. Wait, I'll borrow her earrings. She will never notice it's gone. I might have to agree with her fans. This might be the weakest episode of season 6. Yeah, you're right. It's not awful. It's just a weak episode. It's gone. What's gone? Cam's earrings. It's missing and nowhere to be found. There are some moments to this episode that would rank this episode higher. Especially the scene with Brenda visiting Little Bill in prison. That was the most crucial part of the episode, and the episode not even about them. Candace Flynn, give me back Kane's earrings you little thief. Oh shoot. Also the cat fight between Tracy and Candace is pretty amusing. I wish they fight more after Tracy called Candace cheap. I gave her back the earrings. Which makes you look cheap. You are grounded for 234,567,800. I think the creator wouldn't change the episode, but I think the episode should be ranked higher. Not over top 100. At number 134 is... Tracy Ruins Family Dinner, Season 6, Episode 12. I'm cooking a family meal tonight. Look, I know I got in out of hand and well, frankly. It's a special occasion. The family's coming together. Twice in a row for season 6. I'm gutted this episode is lower down the list. For sure, this episode had potential to be a good episode. Hey Annie, I got booze. Sweet. Guys, unfortunately I misplaced the wine, so we will all be drinking Punjab's special, lemonade. You have to agree with Tracy in this episode, we all know why she is hiding the wine from Carly. It's a very, very, complicated situation. Give it to me! This shouldn't be down the list, it should at least be top 70, at least. And it's pretty upsetting to watch because they just got their family back together, now it's being torn apart by aggressive drinking. Go up to your room because you were grounded for 1600 years. I think this episode did justice with alcoholism. Maybe the star rail line is over or maybe it's done, I don't know. A glass of wine please. Strong. At number 133 is... The Beaker Reunion, Season 4, Episode 8. You lied to me. What? How did I? Why did you never told me about any? This episode does seem to belong in 133rd place. Yeah, it wasn't as strong episode as it was back then. Who are you? Annie. I am your mother. My mother? No. You can't be. Mine and Tracy's mom was killed in a fire. That's not exactly what happened, but I'm here now. Though Annie seeing her mother again was a very sweet moment. It's sweet, not as emotional as other Grounded series moments. By the way, did you know I'm engaged? Really? To who? To me. That's a nice twist. Punjab, who used to be a butler for Warbucks is marrying Annie and Tracy's mom. It seems like a very small world. My family is whole again. Um, don't you mean our family? No. Mine. You're just the adopted mother. You were grounded, grounded, grounded for 48,393,748,383 months. I feel so sorry for Cam, because this moment is going to be her downfall. Yeah, poor Cam. By the way, Harvey in this episode. Erg r r r r r Get him off screen. Fine. Say the next episode on the list. At number 132 is... Eliza interrupts the questions, Season 4, Episode 18. Quiet. It's starting. This is the second quiz show episode of the series. I prefer the other one. I agree. This one is good, but not as good as Candace Phil's TV quiz. First question for $100. What is the capital city of it? Rome. I didn't finish the question. Capital city of Italy. Yet you got it right. This is just a remake, and I don't blame the fans for putting this episode lower on the list. It is a good remake though. 
The purpose of this video is basically Eliza interrupting the host, and then the host gets too pissed off. That's what happens if you act like a smartass. You don't get to win a million dollars. I know Eliza is smart no better than this. Oh my freaking god. You are such a geek. You know what? Just for the two you're going home with nothing. You freaking lose. That's not fair. Marianne should be proud of her. Caillou, she deserves it. Impatience geniuses get punishments. That is so freaking it. I am grounding you for life. At number 131 is... Dilemmas and Departures, Season 4, Episode 22. JC, listen to me. People change for the ones they love because, well, they want to forgive and forget. But know this. The people who treated you specially are always the one that was there for you, and you should never forget that. This should not be at 131. I'm calling it now. Why is that? I mean, obviously, this is Cam's final episode, and it's pretty sad. I guess you're right. All she ever wanted was to be a mother to Tracy, unlike Carly, her actual mother. Here are Yorkies. You won't be disappointed. I'll show up early in the morning to get things started. Did you know that the diner Cam owns is the same diner that Carly and Punjab owns now named Cam's Diner? Wow. Well done, Sherlock. You are grounded for 91,000 Googleplex Infinity. Go home right now. Out of my way. No wonder Tracy wants to hang out with my mom instead of you. The scene where Cam seems to have her life finally in order to provide for Tracy, is to fall apart, when it starts to rain heavily and Cam cannot see the road clearly, is a really devastating scene. takes place the same day as Carly and Punjab leave to go back home to England, at number 130 is... Donnie's Wild Party, Season 4 Episode 16 Man I'm throwing a wild thorn buried party at my house tonight. This is another significant episode, but seeing this episode back is just like a high school party episode. By the title of the episode, this episode sure was wild. Ha 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 ha. That's it. Hey! You get your filthy hands off my girlfriend. I know you don't like her. That's not true. Miguel. I know. It is a bit of a crossroad for all the characters as they are talking about what goes on in their life. I never thought about that. You are grounded until this century is over. Now clean this mess up. This is the start of a romance between Miguel and Donnie. Who would have expected that? This isn't really about Stacy, isn't it? At number 129 is... Warbucks School, Season 3 Episode 9 I thought you heard by now, that there is a gas leak in the boys' toilets which is infecting the air of our school. So school is cancelled for today. This episode is very random, very strange. Yeah, but I love how we get to see school students in a different environment than the school itself. Good morning class. Today we will spend all day doing a science project about black holes. How about Jenny? Ha ha ha. How you? That is racist. We even decided to let Warbucks become a teacher. Yeah, how is it a good idea to let a man use Dora's house? As a place for learning, Warbucks is shifty. Someone call the police. Wait, wait a minute. Ah, uh, my clothes. You wicked girl. I don't even know what this episode is, I don't know if the creator got bored or this is what he did best these days. You are so grounded 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 for all eternity. Nothing else to explain, let's just move on. At number 128 is... A Coming Out Wedding, Part 1, Season 5 Episode 21. Mom, you look so stunning. Thank you Annie, I've been waiting for this day for a long time, both of my daughters. See me getting married. This is a conclusion double parter of the end of Miguel and Donnie's relationship. Yes, basically the entire first part is just based on Carly and Punjab's wedding ceremony, with some drama of Miguel and Donnie's story. Punjab and Carly has now declared their love, which means now they are husband and wife. Congratulations. You may now kiss the bride. 
it's a good episode, but part 2 is better, I agree with the fans. Yeah, the ceremony is good, I wish we had more set to make a Hindu wedding environment. Plotagon don't offer enough sets. I want McDonald's, I want McDonald's. I that is it, you're grounded for all eternity. When we so doesn't that bother you a lot, that Miguel is playing games with you? He's not playing games? I like the scene where little Bill manipulates Donnie to expose Miguel. Yeah, and then at the end we see the exposed message on the wall of Miguel in Stacy's hotel room. At number 127 is... Cindy and Justine stinks the entire classroom, season 3 episode 18. We should let Jenny know that she is the worst teacher in the world. How about we stink up the entire classroom and blame Jenny? I think there's something there with these two. Yeah, I feel like they could be best of friends, for some reason. Both are thick as thieves. She's asleep. Now is our chance. Ready? You know it. No one can escape. Now Cindy, stink this Jenny. Why was it such a good idea to do this episode? I honestly have no idea. How did Cindy stink up the classroom so much? What has she been eating? Beans? What is that wretched smell? I believe you farted while you were sleeping Jenny. It is a bit of a pathetic attempt of a good episode. I think it does belong in 127th place, at least. Yeah, this episode was a waste of time. I don't think I laughed once when I watched it for the fifth time. It stinks so much the classroom is contaminated until further notice. That is it. You are grounded grounded for 10 million months. How did a couple farts contaminated the entire classroom? Yeah, I mean I know Cindy is a toxic girl, but this is ridiculous. At number 126 is... Annie ruins Warbucks and Vina's dinner. Season 3 episode 12. I need a waitress to give us food. Of course I will be your waitress tonight. It isn't bad. It isn't great either. Once again this episode is ranked where it belongs. Yeah, it belongs in the red place. This episode was a bit of a fail. It burns. Oh goodness. Oh my you're right Oliver. Annie. What the hell did you put in this? Just some hot sauce. There are moments in this episode that made me smile, it's when Annie serves them the food and she announces what they actually are. I love how Candace is helping Annie with the food. Yeah I mean, why isn't Candace getting grounded for this? She is partially involved. Annie, what exactly is it? It is certainly not chocolate. You'll be happy to know that it is my very own poo. Oh my god, stupid orphan Annie. Why must you do this to us so? Well. At least this episode not a bigger fail than we thought. It's okay. You are grounded, 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 grounded until you die. At number 125 is... Candace ruins Carly's wedding dress. Season 5 episode 20. I really can't wait until I see your dress. This is another underrated episode that doesn't get enough praise. I like this episode. This episode got some memorable moments. Oh no, I made a gaping hole on her dress. I'll try and fix it with thread and needle. Look at what happened to my dress. What Candace done was completely downright stupid. She was only trying to help though. True, but she should have never had done and had a look in the first place. Who did this? Um, um, um. Did you do this to my dress? Yes I did. I really love when Debbie tries to roast back at Nigel, but fails. The rap scene is very much iconic in the show. Oh ho, oh yeah, yeah. Listen up folks, this is Debbie. What I'm about to say will get... heavy. Please don't boo. Boo you, boo I say. Poor Candace. You are so grounded, 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 grounded for all time. And just to end the episode, Miguel and Donnie got caught by Debbie. Oh my god, I shouldn't have seen that. At number 124 is... Candace Goes Fourth Base, Season 3 Episode 7. Mom must have forgot her purse. This episode shows Candace and Jeremy finally reigniting their love. After Jeremy's affair with Stacy. This episode is on the balance between okay, and not good. I feel this episode would be at least top 100. What did you say? Haven't you heard? Candace and Jeremy are back together since Valentine's Day. I should have have never told Linda. Whoops. That was amazing. Not only third base. We went fourth base. Home run baby. This must have been so awkward. 
This is an awkward episode. I know I'd be awkward if you enter my room with Dora on my bed. You're grounded for 89 sexillion 693 quintillion 103 quadrillion 999. At number 123 is Principal Lemon Returns, Season 5, Episode 15. So we have a special visitor to teach this class. Yes! A substitute. Hello, everyone. How the hell is he back? This episode has one thing that bothers me. Why hire someone for a day, who got fired at the same school? Principal Lemon is a very self-absorbed man, and he makes me roll my eyes. Caillou, minus one percent. No. The episode Principal Lemon was in before, was popular, but having him back again is not as popular. Yeah well, this is pretty much a sequel. Yeah, nothing much to be said on this episode. You're grounded for 999 billion 999 million. At number 122 is... Rosie Sees a Monster, Season 3 Episode 10. Pick that up right this instant. Oh go get it yourself. You old grandpa. Rosie is scared of monsters, what a joke. Kai, you shut up. There was a monster under my bed. You woke me up because of that. Rosie, you're nearly 13 years old. There are no monsters under your bed. Well, apart from the fact this episode makes me laugh at Rosie, I think this episode isn't as great since I first watched it. Well, it ain't bad. It only just shows Rosie being scared of a monster that's not actually a monster. He's the monster. He's not a monster. He is a monster under my bed. You're grounded for 2,000 nights. Rosie's gone. Crazy. Crazy. Don't be so rude. At number 121 is... Cindy discovers Miguel's secret. Season 5 episode 6. Well I'd rather not spend my time with an obsessive psychopath. You really are the same old Miguel. In the comments, a lot of people hated this episode. I agree with them. Partially, it's not the greatest episode, but I wish this episode could do a lot more better. What? What are you all looking at? Right, I'm taking you home. Get off me, Mom. And in the episode you see another of Dora's dramatic story with her bipolar. I feel like it was not needed and it could have been its own episode. And by the way, you're grounded for 745 days. Follow me upstairs. Cindy. Cindy, wait. Seriously, Miguel, what is your problem? The problem is, Cindy, that you don't have a number one. Poor Cindy. They did Cindy dirty. They made her a whore. Caillou. Language. I'd give this episode a pass, really. Well, still watchable. And what are you getting out of this? Huh? Are you kidding? At number 120 is... The Thornberries Move In, Season 4, Episode 6. This is it. It looks campy. Well, I think it looks great. Whatever. Watch where you're. Sorry, mate. I'm Donnie. I just moved here. I'm sorry. I'm such a donut. I'm Miguel. See you later. It's a really cool introduction of the family. This episode is really good. It shows you Donnie's downfall just when he gets introduced. I want to check my new Instagram account. If I'm not on the computer in 5 seconds, I'm telling. Why can't Debbie do it through her phone? Don't question it, Caillou. If you must know I was looking at naked mole rats. I knew it. You are looking at nudity on Google Images. What? No. The fans can't see it, but I'm face palming right now. I'm sure Marianne misunderstood Eliza. I bet not. She looks at though she knows what she is doing, she is evil. You are the most disgusting child I have ever raised, is rodents your fetish or something? That is so it, you are grounded for infinity years. At number 119 is... Rosie tells Doris about the affair, Season 3 Episode 19. Keep it between us but... Dad is having an affair. I'm not going to say anything about this. Fair enough, this episode is alright. But Rosie exposing you and Emma was unsatisfying. Not as bad as Dad having it on with Emma. What did you just say? Dad and Emma. They're seeing each other behind your back. 
go upstairs right now because you're grounded for 100 millenniums, you stupid girl. Oh my god. Is that Boris? Ha 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 ha. Stop laughing. I didn't know there were a TV crew in the park. This episode is top 100 at least. At number 118 is... Candace and Jeremy Friends Again, Season 2 Episode 22. Look, Jeremy. I think we should be just friends. I don't want us to be serious. They just want to be friends. But we all know they get together. True, true. I have new suspects. I need to look in Phineas and Ferb's room, of course. Go right ahead. I'm only interested in seeing Emma in this episode. I don't care about Candace and Jeremy's relationship problems. I know. All I can watch is Emma's scenes. And mine and Dora's scene too. Yeah, I'm only interested in Emma's scenes. You are grounded until you die. Time to call the killer. This is the longest phone pickup in history. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Somebody please pick up the phone. I'm not scared of you. I know you killed Furban Phineas. At number 117 is... Boris Valentine's Affair, Season 3, Episode 5. Happy Valentine's, Doris. I love you. I love you too, Boris. This is truly, a regretful episode. Yeah, no kidding. You know I can't carry on like this. At least I had morals. But then a Valentine card struck the deal. Valentine card. Well, maybe we should not be too hasty. Oh my god, whoever made the front cover of a card has no skill. Should've thought it was you. Yes, you should have. And this is where they get together. What did I say in the last episode list? They get together again. I miss you. I miss us. Will you be my girlfriend again? Alright. One chance. You need to stop. I wish. But the reason I go to Emma sometimes because your mother is hideous. Wow, 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 wow. Savage. I said it was a regretful episode. Don't do this to me. That's it, you're grounded until 500 years time today. This episode was okay. Yeah, but the grounding was so weak. At number 116 is... Caillou slaps Doris's new boyfriend. Season 4, episode 4. Like I even care. You're only upset because mom left you. Why don't you try and win her heart again? Dad, do you have words for this episode? Two words. Hate it. She's coming over. Things are finally turning around. She's here already. You're too late, Boris. I got a boyfriend. I mean this episode is not bad, because I get to slap mom's ex. You did right. I love to slap his face over and over again. Actually, let's replay that footage. Again. Ha 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 ha. Again. Ha 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 ha. That's it. You were grounded until me and Harvey get married. Oh boo. Don't boo at your mother. At number 115 is... Tracy interrupts new student, season 5 episode 5. But we need to distraction. What about Vanessa? Don't call me by my real name. I'm Little Red. This is an introduction episode to Little Red, aka Vanessa. Who is part of the Bill clan, sent to distract Plotagon high students. I like your hair. Oh, thanks. Tracy Beaker, stop distracting the new student. This is a great concept of an episode. A girl from an evil clan gets information about everyone in the school. Tracy is the best at introducing new students into the school. After numerous interruptions, there comes the final blow. Oh yeah, she farted in front of the class. Not now. Please not now. I think I'm gonna let out a fart. You. Prevented from happening. No, 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 no. Yay, it didn't happen. Right, that is so it. This episode should be top 50. I think so too. That's it. You are grounded for 2,827 decades. Also, we added a little tribute to Albert Finney, the actor who played Warbucks in the movie, at the end of the episode. At number 114 is Doris and Emma's Day Out. Part 2, Season 4, Episode 20. What are you doing here? I should ask you the same thing. Oh no. You, 
have got to be kidding me. This is a very satisfying episode. I couldn't agree more. Harvey gets caught. This old bag is as cheap as the earrings she's wearing, actually. Harvey gave me these. He did what? Don't tell me he got you that necklace. The, the other day, what? Where is he? He only went and gone. I love the insults, the roasting, and then they chase after Harvey. Like a pair of geese going after its prey. Let's embarrass him. Attention. Plane passengers. The scene at the airport is the icing on the cake. Caillou, get me the popcorn. For example, you're never more than six feet away from a rat. Though we proved that today. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry for the... Get off. However, rats are easily dealt with. Thank you, everyone. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. So I hitched plan to get you two together to take Harvey down. That's it. You were grounded forever after. Hell no. Rosie did you a favor. I thought he was the one. Come here. My favorite scene in the series. Oh, Dad, it always is. At number 113 is... In Hospital with Mrs. Hall, Season 3, Episode 3. I'm giving you the kidney. No one is going to stop me. A kidney operation must be pretty scary for Tracy. Dad, you do remember what happened, right? She had the operation with Tracy's kidney. Am I mistaken? Just watch the clip. Her kidneys don't match yours. So you may need to find a donor or a wait on the list. Oh, I remember now. It's Miss Hannigan's kidney. Yeah. This episode is really forgettable. I barely remember from this. Well, this episode is considered dramatic. Nothing else. Not really humorous. That is it. You are grounded until 1000 years after Mrs. Hall dies. And what a stupid way to get grounded, honestly. Because you don't have kidney size right. I laughed at that bit. The Tracy Beaker sad music, I love that. Better take notes for season 7. At number 112 is... Jimmy Punches Miss Hannigan, Season 3 Episode 16. Don't stress me out, son. I need to go to hospital in a minute. Why wait? I'm surprised this got higher. I think this is a weak episode and should be way down bottom of the list. Yeah, although it is shocking to see a teenage boy punch a middle-aged woman in front of people in a store. Of all the days to get punched. That stupid evil boy. I hope he gets grounded forever. You are grounded, 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 grounded for 8,000 days. Jimmy deserved it. I agree. Let's never speak of this. Agreed. What the hell was that? At number 111 is... Candace changes votes in British election. Season 4 episode 2. I hope Labour wins. They give rich to the poor. The Conservatives just give rich to the rich. Damn you Theresa May. Theresa May. I thought that was a name of a shampoo. This episode is the most political one. Yeah. It's pretty obvious what political side the Flynn Fletcher family are on. Do you have a card with you? Sure. This card is fake. And you're not a British citizen. Want me to help? Who are you? Eliza Thornberry. This is the first episode we see Eliza Thornberry. Wait. Oh yeah. Theresa May is to keep her prime ministerial. With 6,827,155 votes for conservatives and strangely just 18 votes to Labour, you were grounded until World War III ends. Aren't the British gonna recount? It seems suspicious. Probably not. At number 110 is... Halloween with Caillou and Friends, Season 4, Episode 26. Boo. Ha 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 ha. I will get to be... Kaiman, Defender of Plotagon City. Ha 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 ha, more like a man. Right that is it, I am not going. I like this episode, this episode is a lot more fun to make. Yeah, anything Halloween related, I'm on board. We're going to the haunted house nearby, wanna come? Sure. Let's go! This is in my top 50 for certain. Top 30 for me. What the? He's gone. 
How this is number 110, is beyond me. We should see more of Guy Man. Season 7, maybe. Roar. Oh my god, it's you. I don't think anybody would have guessed it was Little Bill, who was the plotty monster. I certainly didn't, and I was there. I don't give a few asses if Halloween is a scaring holiday, you scared more than enough. That's it man, I'm grounding you for 4,838,274 full moons. At number 109 is... Candace joins the police force, season 3 episode 14. Phineas and Ferb would be proud too. The beginning is very touching, that she joined the force to bring justice, the same way she try and bust Phineas and Ferb when they were younger. She did it for Phineas. No one cares about Ferb. He was evil. Hey Candace. Oh my god, are you in the forces now? Why did you do that? Until we reached this point, this episode gone so downhill so fast. She needs to go back to the pit where she came from. Damn! Emma slapped the hell out of her. She deserved it. She should not have behaved like that. That is it, Officer Flynn. You were guilty. I mean grounded with a sentence of 90 million years. This again? I don't want to see it. Remember? Rosie saw. At number 108 is... Annie Chokes Punjab and Vina, Season 4 Episode 7. Oh. My. God. Hello Annie. Punjab. This is Punjab's first actual appearance in the show. Yeah, Punjab was a butler for Oliver Warbucks. Seen in Annie's backstory. Remember that thing that you promised to teach me? The invisible choke? Okay Annie, it's hurting my neck. Annie. Stop! Why teach her something dangerous that could potentially choke you to death? Punjab didn't know what sort of woman Annie will become. Prepare for the invisible choke. Remind me not to mess with Annie next time. I will forget. You are grounded for life, you stupid girl. For punishment, Punjab will choke you until you stop breathing. Well, this is dark. Oh, and Tracy and Annie's mom, Carly, is seen for the first time. At number 107 is... Candace bribes the criminal, season 4, episode 13. Children, it will be fine, just stay behind me. Miss Amund's. That rat is so scary. Shut up, all of you. You know what? We waited so long to have Candace do some police action, and this episode did not disappoint. This episode was so cool. Good to see some crime drama, and it's at an elementary school. I want you deported. Take my money. Leave this country and never return. Wow. You're even stupid as you look. So long, suckers. Candace, that was pretty far right dumb. Why? It was pretty stupid. To deport a criminal to another country, with stolen goods. Is she actually serious? He took your money living the life in Portugal and then the Portuguese police said he shot 83 people. I didn't know he would do that. Not only that, it killed nearly a hundred people in Portugal. Anyone from Portugal, I'm sorry my friend ruined your lives. You are so grounded 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 until the end of the criminal's life sentence. At the same time, I got it, but she was on duty and she had a job to do. I wonder if Candace ever told Sabrina this story? At number 106 is... Candace Interrupts Proposal, Season 2 Episode 19. Do me a favor and see how Warbucks is doing. This episode isn't bad, it's grounded series material though. It can be considered a classic if it needs to be. Vina and Warbucks relationship is so sweet. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Shut up Caillou. Vina, sweetheart. Will you marry me? Oh my god. I don't believe this. I guess my answer is- Hey Warbucks. I just came to see if you were okay. Stupid girl. You ruined the moment. Wow, I hate it when that happens, when someone ruins the most sentimental moment of your life, and it gets ruined. Yeah, like when you got born. You failed, as a daughter. You were grounded, 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 grounded for all that. Okay? That has gone too far. Nope, it's the right amount of a punishment. At number 105 is... Cindy's Mardi Gras, 
Season 3 Episode 11 So we will need you to dress festive. This is semi kind of holiday. Anything is suitable. As long as it's not exposing your body. This is another underrated episode. Very underrated. I found this episode hilarious. It will be alright. What if it does not fit? Just like Tracy, it will. I promise. It's also dramatic with Mrs. Hall's story. What do you think? Oh my god. Too revealing. Just take me to school, new John. I found Cindy's costume so funny. She's a freaking bird. Well done, Captain Obvious. That is it. You're grounded for 800,000,000,000,000,000 years. Did he really just abandon the girl he's supposed to look after? That's messed up. I found ourselves a prostitute. I'm not a prostitute. I'm only 15. And now, I think we should leave part one here. We're taking breaks. Thank God, I feel so tired. I bet the creator must be so tired of editing all this. Yeah, probably. Anyway, thank you all for joining in Grounded Series, Worst to Best. We will see you soon for part two. Good night. Talk to me. What? Why? To make it seem like we are actually talking during the end credits. Don't be ridiculous, let's just leave the set. No, just wait until it fades black. God's sake Caillou, I want to go home. If the credits are short, it will fade any moment. Fine, I will stay, they won't be able to hear me say that you suck ass. I'm appalled, why would you say such a thing to me? Oh my god, just fade black already. I've never known the end credits to torture me so much. Ha 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 the fans will never know it's me that farted. Wait a minute, it's not muted. Wait, wait, don't fade black.